Dear colleagues, I would like to present myself. I'm Dr. Russo from the Urological section of the University of Catania. I'm going to present our last paper published on British Journal of Urology International that is titled Association between Metabolic Syndrome and Intravesical Prostatic Protrusion in Patients with Benign Prostatic Enlargement and Lower Urinary Tract Symptoms. This paper has been selected as Article of the Month of the May issue. From January 2015 to January 2017, 224 consecutive men older than 50 years presenting with LATS were recruited in this multicenter cross-sectional study. Their evaluation included digital rectal examination, international prostate symptom score, uroflometry, and also transrectal ultrasound of the prostate. The main diameters of the prostate were calculated included total prostate volume, transitional zone volume, and intravesical prostatic protrusion. Metabolic syndrome was defined according to the International Diabetes Federation criteria. If we look at Table 2, we included the comparison of included variables according to the presence of metabolic syndrome, and in particular, we found significant difference when considering the intravesical prostatic protrusion, total prostate volume, and transitional zone volume in patients with metabolic syndrome. We have also performed a multivariate logistic regression analysis investigating risk factors of intravesical prostatic protrusion, total prostate volume, and also transitional zone volume. We found that West Circumference was positive with us. We have also performed an age-adjusted multivariate logistic regression analysis for significant predictors of benign prostatic enlargement futures, and we found that West Circumference was associated with an increased risk of having a greater intravesical prostatic protrusion at transitional zone volume, while hypertension was positively associated with all three morphological features of ben and prostatic enlargement, while HDL was negatively associated with an increased size of intravesical prostatic protrusion and increase of size of transitional zone volume. Finally, at the age-adjusted linear regression analysis, the increase of number of criteria of metabolic syndrome was associated with an increase of size of intravesical prostatic protrusion. We have also performed an age-adjusted multivariate logistic regression analysis for significant predictors of benign prostatic enlargement futures, and we found that West Circumference was associated with an increased risk of having a greater intravesical prostatic protrusion at transitional zone volume, while hypertension was positively associated with all three morphological features of ben and prostatic enlargement, while HDL was negatively associated with an increased size of intravesical prostatic protrusion and increase of size of transitional zone volume. Finally, at the age-adjusted linear regression analysis, the increase of number of criteria of metabolic syndrome was associated with an increase of size of intravesical prostatic protrusion. In conclusion, we can say that metabolic syndrome shows correlation with morphological features of ben and prostatic enlargement demonstrated a positive association with intravesical prostatic protrusion. These results can offer new contributes to the better understanding of the link between metabolic syndrome and ben and prostatic enlargement. I would like to thank you all of you for your kindly attention, the editorial board of the BJU International for their kindly invitation, and all the scientific staff for their contribution to this project.